Hello and welcome to another episode of Tough Lip Productions, Guitar Pills on Bass. I have the Digital Reverb RV5 here with me and we'll be testing out some of the tones with help from the ODB3 Overdrive. Alright, so we have everything at noon here, this is the spring sound. You turn up the tone, you can really hear the spring. So here is the clean sound. With plaque. So I would recommend that you keep there's a tone knob. First of all, the level volume, the tone knob which turns up the high frequencies, turns down the low frequencies. Um uh, of the sound, so I'd recommend having the treble, the tone up so that the low end of the bass can sing through and that you're only putting reverb on the high frequencies. Um, otherwise it can get very muddy. Uh, you have the time, which is the reverb time, you have a range of effects, spring, plate, hall, room, gate and modulate. Modulate is very, very, very nice. It's kind of a chorus sound with the, with the reverb, so it gives it a very big sound. The gate is that Phil Collins drum sound. Do doom do do doom. Um, a, a reverb that can suit and then cuts out, so it, it gives it a lot of space. So let's have a go at this spring. Again, the time is just how long it rings out for. Now, if you want less of that, uh, you hear that boing, boing, uh, whack the tone back, even though that contradicts what I just said about having the tone forward. Bit of overdrive. Let's turn down that gain. All right, let's try it the next one. This is a uh, plate. That was not tasteful on my part. Please, okay. Let's get a subtler sound to throw back the time. All right, let's move on to room. So we control how big the room is with the time. So a smaller room. We're getting a very kind of tinny reverb. So let's roll back that tone. Let's make it into a bigger hall. Pardon me, we've actually been on the hall the whole time. <laughs> All right, I couldn't, I couldn't see it this angle. Uh, okay, cool. So that was hall. Let's make it to a bigger hall. Alright. Up here. Oh. 
on to room now, so a smaller version of the hall. the option for stereo output here, left and right. Make it a, a super tight room. This sounds just like you're in the studio. Nice, very usable sound. Yeah, like that room sound. Getting on to the more processed gate sound. Let's try the overdrive on this. So we'll uh, roll back the tone maybe and up the time. Almost sounds like it's reversing. Oh, the opposite now, up the tone, down the tone. Very tight sound. Turn off the overdrive. Sounds like a delay. Alright, now onto my favourite modulation. If you want to get more of that chorus, whack that tone up. Good for the old ambience. Let's go for a more everyday sound. Let's roll back that tone. And the time. Um, from what I know, they got um, a classic bit of Roland rack gear reverb unit and they used the most used presets and put them in this pedal. So presets are very nice, especially that modulate. People even use it for vocals. All right, and we'll leave it there. We'll just do one or more two tests, just have some fun with it. And give it a whack, see how it sounds. Let's hear how each reverb sounds. That's the modulate. Onto the gate. Whoa. Also, it that's actually modulating as well. The the gate, the gate of reverb. You can tell because it's changing pitch. 
really interesting. I never knew that this is the room. Now this might sound a bit harsh because of the tone the whole way up just so we can hear all the details. Going on to Hall. Whoa, that's very nice. And the plate, we might have to turn down the tone for this one. That's very harsh. And finally, the spring. Which can be found on a spring amp. Spring reverb amp. So a valve amp usually, such as a Vox AC30 or a Fender Blues Junior. Or a... PV Classic 30. Alright, thanks for watching.